All right, this is block five, section one, post-war problems, uh, with the lecture starting with the recession of 1919 to 1922. After the war in Europe ended, uh, what the American people and government wanted more than anything was to demobilize the troops, get them home and get them out of the army, uh, and get them back into real life. Uh, so that's exactly what happened, that you know, the American army went from about 2 million in, 19, in uh, late 1918, early 1919, to about 100,000 a few months later. Everyone was just pushed right back into the workforce. Uh, and that created uh, quite a bit of disruption, that all of a sudden there was veterans without jobs, the economy had to go from a war economy to a peace economy very quickly. Uh, the army and the navy were no longer putting in these huge orders for guns and boots and tanks and bullets, uh, and uh, all the factories had to retool to do civilian-related uh, production again. And all of this economic disruption, uh, plus a terrible flu epidemic that ripped through the world in 1918 and 1919, uh, which killed about 20 million people worldwide, um, caused an economic disruption, caused an economic recession, and it lasted for a couple of years, about 1919 to 1922. Uh, and in this time, unemployment was high, production was down, um, people were struggling, you know, economically. Um, but soon the United States was going to come out of it. One of the other problems which added to the recession was the so-called Fordney mccumber Tariff. And the Fordney mccumber Tariff kind of um, assumed too much about the American economy. It assumed that the American economy would pick right off where it had left off, and it uh, would continue to be producing goods and services at a fantastic clip, and it raised tariff rates from their wartime lows uh, to, I believe, 38 and a half percent. And that meant that all imports and exports had a tariff uh, tax of 38 and a half percent. And that served to decrease foreign trade, it decreased to make American goods less competitive overseas, uh, made foreign goods more expensive, and it, all it did was it added to the economic dislocation. Uh, the Fordy McCumber tariff was not repealed, uh, but as the American economy grew out of the recession, it became less of a big deal.